Yo, hey guys, Weeks here. Welcome back to another build guide video. This one is going to be for the thief class. Uh, this is what has currently been working for us to help climb NG levels. We are currently at NG 21 on the thief. And I would say you can use this build anywhere from NG 2 on up to beyond NG 21. Uh, the only thing that will be needed for this guide is to have some rare drinks unlocked, have the anvil already unlocked and your town upgraded along with some statues. There are definitely other ways to play this build, but this is what has worked best for us. And I think this will be a very good, well-rounded starting point for anyone that is looking to push NG plus on the thief class. The thief class will be focusing on using primary attacks in conjunction with crit, combo, and luck. We'll do most of our damage with twin daggers and some of the procs that it offers. Additional mana will go for throwing knives, Grappling hook to get around, smoke bomb for stun and extra evasion, and then we'll use our passive skills to have more attack speed and deal more damage to single target. For blessings, we use the following. For tier 1, we use Path of Defender to take less damage. Tier 2, we use Blessing of Intellect for more damage. Most of our damage will be magic damage, so Blessing of Intellect is the biggest damage boost in this row. You can also use Blessing of Mine instead, depending on your mana regen. So you can always have mana for smoke bomb as needed. In the third tier, we're using Symbol of Essence to get lifesteal for our character. We are opting out of using Crimson Death just because it's kind of annoying to play with and I don't think it's worth a drink in this case. You should be able to get plenty of damage to lifesteal all the life you need with Symbol of Essence. In the last tier, we're using Divine Strike. You also could use Divine Blast. This is really personal preference. Divine Blast would be better for clearing packs of enemies and Divine Strike will be better for dealing damage to the boss. For drinks, we use Frenetic Eruption, which gives us a 5% chance to trigger combo when scoring a critical hit. We'll be focusing on crits to help us stay in combo as long as possible. We'll also be using Incendiary Demise to give us a nice boost of magic damage on our primary attack. We'll be using Wicked Sickness to have more damage while we're in combo. Overflowing Physique to have increased life at the cost of mana, and Groovy Ghost to have more evasion. With this drink setup, we should be able to trigger and maintain combo, deal more damage while in combo, deal more magic damage, have more life, and have more evasion. You don't need to worry too much about mana with this build, we'll mainly be using the primary attack and supporting it with our other abilities. For starting items, you'll be looking for Heartseeker or Lucky Hat in the shop, and you'll be crafting the other one. As the NGs increase, you may need to pick up Magebane to deal more damage, but you should be just fine with Heartseeker progressing from NG2 to NG20. Some other good items to look for are just crit on melee attack, attack speed, flat damage to attacks, evasion. For item attunements on the Thief, I would recommend the following. I would first start off with Heartseeker and Lucky Hat, as those will be your starting items. From there, you can pick up Resist, Armor, Life, evasion, flat damage to attacks, or anything else you'll need. For statues, I'd recommend the following, using Callus to get increased attack power for your armor, and also the chance to block projectiles. Using Kyra to have faster primary attacks, so we're doing more damage, proccing our passives more often, and it also helps by doing additional arrows. And the faster attacks will also mean that you will be able to stun, disarm enemies, and leech faster. Lastly, we use Bolgarth to have a combo blast that deals magic damage to help us AoE clear as we go through the axe and also increase the time that we are in combo. Alternatively, you could swap out Kallus or Kyra or Fairlath. Fairlath lowers the health of an attacker by 5% when evading. Each level of the statue increases damage done to disarmed and stunned enemies by 5%. Thanks everyone for watching and I hope you enjoyed the Thief build guide class video. I would definitely recommend giving the thief a try. Let me know if you have any questions or comments about the build and we'll see you in the next video.